So here's what the center of the instrument cluster looks like with EyeSight Adaptive Cruise Control active. You can see the two little blue cars there. The one in the back is me. The one in front is a little white, who knows what, Toyota something that I'm following. You'll notice our cruise control is set at 67 miles an hour and we're traveling 59, edging up to 60 here. As traffic ebbs and flows, we'll just maintain a following distance following distance looks like that right now. That's with three bars set on the system and I can change that using the long vertical button there. If I push the top of that it will lengthen the following distance. Push it down it'll shorten it. But this is pretty comfortable at this speed. Also notice that on the side of those two blue cars are white lines that's telling me that the system can see and recognize the fog line and the center line. The little white car with the dashed lines to the top right of the display there is lane keep assist. If I drift over towards the center line, that'll turn green. And it will actually nudge the steering wheel back to the center of the lane. If I let it go over the other way, turns green to let me know it's active, nudges me to the center again. If I let it go a couple of times, there we go, keep hands on steering wheel. So the system knows you're not touching the wheel because it doesn't feel any resistance when it twitches the steering. And we're coming down the grade, the car in front of us slows down, so we slow down. That's the magic of adaptive cruise control. I've had my feet on the floor this entire time. Haven't touched the cruise control buttons at all.